Hey, welcome back. Um, we are here with Martin Castillo right here. You probably you can find him on Instagram at the fittest fat guy. Dude, you know what? Everyone's <laughs> on him. We're on him. Like social media is on him because that guy is kind of like. I don't know, man. He's not that guy anymore. You're not that guy anymore, dude. It's, you know what I mean? Was, we can, we we know, but we understand. We're like, oh man, because before it was like, dude, he moving some weight. He's get he's killing these workouts, and yeah, now it's like, well, you're not, you're not, you know, the whole, the you're whole not the thing. fat guy anymore. You know, you're no, getting lean. The whole thing has started because um, I've, I've always thought that like, for a big guy. I, I could move. You do a lot. You're pretty athletic. Yeah, yeah. I, I could move my weight better than most guys my size could. So mm-hmm. that's kind of what inspired the name of the Instagram. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it's just pretty much. Uh, it's my it's my page, and it's just that's my my daily journal of, of my journey and and everything that I've accomplished and, and you know where I used to be and where I am now and my goals and where I want to be still. Because let's face it, we're on a day to day basis. We, we have goals that we want to work on, and mm-hmm. every day it's something new. So, I'm you're you're on here because dude, you've done a lot with your fitness, a lot with your strength. Um, you combine those, and you do really well at CrossFit. You're putting together a great CrossFit game. You've lost a bunch of weight, so that take like just doing that, changing your diet, and you're posting up your vids. So it's like so you get to watch your journey, your meal prep learning what you eat, what affects your body, how it affects your body, I and mean, you know your, your food, that you, you know what I mean? Yeah. But he also gives him time to, like, he he's not, he's super strict, but at the same time, he's, he still has, like, in his little enjoyments, you know what I mean? It's not, right. like, like, super hardcore, but you're healthy now, you know what I mean? You're not, right. like, where some people get, like... I think 90% of our cr- diet... Like, crazy, like, strict, and then mm-hmm. they, they lose weight, and then they go, they go back to, like, eating the way they... they yeah. Know, were before yeah. so w- the step back even further how did you get into working out how long have you been working out how, how did you find CrossFit I know because you came over from from CrossFit Westbound um, so the whole thing started I've always been a, a big guy ever since I was I've always struggled with weight uh, my entire life um, and it just started uh, with a realization man like I went to the doctor um and the doctor told me that um, my blood pressure was high, my cholesterol was high. I was a point shy of being hypertensive, or yeah, being hypertensive. Mm-hmm. So he was this close to prescribing me medication to re- to lower my blood pressure, and that's when I realized, you know what, I have to do something about it. Uh-huh. And um, you know, I started as as uh, bodybuilding, um, just going to the gym but that got boring really really quick mm-hmm. um, how long ago so what how old were you when you went to the doctors and knew that you had to make a change i was i want to say i was 22 years old how old are you now i am 28 23 no <laughs> this is a year he's like changing no, yeah, no. <laughs> so 28 um, so 23 you went what brought you what took you to the doctors uh i just wasn't feeling really good i was feeling like really unhealthy i was mm-hmm. feeling uh, every day i would wake up and i just wouldn't feel right yeah. I just I, I felt unhealthy it's kind of hard to describe just mm-hmm. it was a feeling that I said you know what and then um, I, my asthma started acting up to the point where like I was having trouble breathing uh-huh. so I went to my doctor we had some tests and that's when I find out found out uh-huh. the bad news so. all right so what weight so you think it's because of weight related were you what weight what were you weighing when you went to the doctor or? when I was when I was going to the doctor I was almost 300 pounds mm-hmm. almost 300 pounds I want to say I was uh, like 287 287 which is without the heaviest, working out without working yeah. out yeah the heaviest that I have ever been in my life so it got so you just got heavy where it's starting to start to really affect you like, yeah I mean I was like having really trouble sleeping it. at night and you name it uh-huh. you know it, it was it was tough so that's when I and I've never like going to the doctor's but no, I don't. I don't like going. I don't. I don't. I try to. I work on staying healthy. <laughs> yeah, that's that's yeah. A, yeah. So, so then, twenty three. Twenty three. I started doing the whole gym thing. So, what, where'd you start? What gym you started at? I was. I started at a at a local in shape out in Stockton. Okay. Um, but then, 
I was going to college. I was doing the two. I was doing the college life, working two part time jobs, going to college, uh, trying to trying to get fit, trying to you know uh, lose some weight, yeah. and go to the gym. And a buddy of mine uh, actually told me that he was doing CrossFit. And at first, I was like, ah, CrossFit. I don't know what that is. You know. Yeah. I wasn't really interested in it mm-hmm. um, until I actually went with him. And I saw what they were doing, and I saw the, the level of intensity that, that, that they were working yeah. out, and uh, it, it seemed fun. It seemed fun because everybody was just, uh, the atmosphere too, yeah. that, that was the biggest thing that attracted me because yeah. one thing that is very important when you're trying to lose weight is the atmosphere and the support that, mm-hmm. that, that you have. If you don't have a good support system, it's going to be really tough for you to lose weight and to stay committed. Yeah. So that's one of the things that attracted me to CrossFit is that the whole atmosphere, the environment, everybody knows each other. Yeah. Everybody's high-fiving, high-fiving Man, each other. It's like other. a team, dude. It yeah, feels good. Everybody's like when everyone, complimenting each other. Everyone's working together and just it's that positive energy, man. Yeah. And it fills you up every day. And yeah. it's like it, it definitely helps with the momentum. So, I, I mean, I say the same thing about this weightlifting and that teamwork. It's like, dude. Some workouts are harder, but I know I got that team to come to, so it's like, it just makes the workouts. And like, it, it makes you want to keep coming to uh-huh. the gym on a daily basis, yeah. you know? That's 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 a good part. So, so yeah. wait, you want to say, do you remember the CrossFit that you went to? Your buddy's name? Who, who's your buddy? Uh, you shout to out to, to yeah, yeah, this is back Is he still college. working out? What up? Uh, <laughs> you got to yeah. invite him back, dude. Yeah, yeah. That'd be cool, huh? Yeah, that What's was his name? Giovanni Vasquez. If you, if Where's he from? Walking. Uh, Stockton. Okay. This was back when I was living in Stockton. So what uh, what CrossFit did he take you to? He took me to uh, back then it was uh, Senkal. Senkal. Dude, CrossFit. they're still around. Yeah, Ken. Now they're Senkal Strength and Conditioning. So you worked out with Ken? Yeah, yeah. Dude, I was working out with Ken at the time. Ken's our boy. Yeah. Can you shut so. that door? We're gonna get Emmanuel here. But dude. Yep. Small, Ken. small world, dude. Yep. Ken's our boy, dude. Yeah, every time like, I... dude, I love that guy, man. Yeah, he's crazy strong. He's dude. a good dude, man. Yeah. And he's crazy strong, dude, man. Good people, dude. So, that, dude, I'm, 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 dude, you're in a good spot right there. Yeah. So, so you worked, started working out with Ken. Started working out with Ken. Uh, so what days did you work out? Uh, I was doing at that time. I think I was only maybe doing three times a week, mm. two, three times a week. If that kicking your butt, you're like, damn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then like, so wait, we, tell us about your first workout. You went in there, like, tell us about the experience. You walk my, in, you're like, okay, energy's good. I want to move around. Like, what? My first workout was uh, a tough one. It was actually uh, five different movements and 50 reps of each movement twice. Uh, dang. Two rounds. Kenny messing around. Uh, yeah, I don't know who moves right, but I think it was uh, push-ups, sit-ups, uh, air squats, burpees, and... It might have pull-ups, I think. Pull-ups. So how many months before you were working on your own before you went to CrossFit uh, St. Cal? Not a lot. I got bored of the gym quick. It must have been maybe like eight months. Uh-huh. Yeah. And then Giovanni asked you to... And Giovanni introduced me to CrossFit. So ever since... I love with it. Yeah, so then you're... How long do you... How long were you member over at uh, St. Cal? I was less than a year. Mm-hmm. Less than a year because uh, I was doing good and... Uh, life, you know, life. I, I met You're a, doing I met good. You got some motivation. Feeling good. I lost good. some weight. I, 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 what up, dude? I always talk about. I go, man. I go. Get people in here working at the gym. They feel good, and they're like, dude, we, you gotta, you gotta keep going. You gotta keep, keep coming, going. Yeah. You got, you can't stop. Even if, yeah, dude. I, but I'm, I'm glad you're back. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. So I met, I met my girlfriend, and then you know things kind of just. I dropped off a little yeah. bit. Stopped doing CrossFit for a while, and then. You know, it was that whole point, that whole transition from moving to Stockton to Sacramento to where, you know, I didn't know the area very well, so... Can I ask you why you moved to Stock or Sacramento? Uh, my, at the time, my girlfriend got a promotion, okay. so um, she moved out so here. So you guys moved uh-huh. we, we, together uh, to Sacramento? Yeah. Okay. It was easy for me, easy for me to transfer in my job mm-hmm. here to Sacramento uh, just to be closer to her. Okay. But, yeah. Uh, so you made the transition here. You're here in Sacramento. Are you going to school? Did you find a gym? Or how? Not here yet. So this is around the time when uh, I took maybe a few months off, and we were here in Sacramento, getting to know the area. Uh-huh. And I just I started googling, you know, cross. I was like, you know what? I I need to get back into it. Yeah. I need to get back into it. What's that and point? Where, where's that point where you're like? 
I need I need to get back to the gym. Like, was it like I like you're feeling it? You weren't feeling good anymore? I I know I was I was like I just missed missed that whole that whole atmosphere. Uh-huh. Um, I was working out at a at a local uh, CalFit. We got a CalFit membership. Mm-hmm. You know, Sacramento, but it just wasn't filling me up. It just wasn't yeah. what I was used to. Yeah. So. And once you get that energy, man, it, it's like, the, if you don't go to another gym that has that same yeah. energy, it, it's a totally different feel, yeah. man. It's just like ah, I gotta, you gotta yeah. just go, you just go find it. Until, you just go gym to gym until you find it, and then that's it. Yeah. So. Because you already, because you know the level you want to be at. You know what I mean? So it's like I need that. To yeah. Get yeah. to that next level and continue to make progress. Yeah. Yeah. So, so you Google gyms. So I, I Googled CrossFit boxes, and um, there was one westbound that uh, caught my eye. Um, I had I have vis- I visited a few other ones, uh, but they were either too small or I wasn't really feeling the coaches yeah. or um, or so one thing or Angel another. and Dave and the and crew. I saw Angel Tyler and, Dave. and Isaac were there. Yeah, back yeah. in the uh, back in the day. The whole and, crew. Uh, yeah. <laughs> And I mean, just Angel and Dave, yeah. really, you know, they, they really seemed like sincere people. They're really genuine people. And, and, I mean, I signed up with Westbound, and I've been here since then. Dude, so wait, how, how many years? Like three? Uh, it's been about... Because there were two over there now, the first year here. So, four? Maybe? Uh, no, no, no. I wasn't there since the beginning, but... Uh, oh, okay, I, okay. I, I've, I've been... I've been but but you know what? You train like you've been, like... You got that veteran because you know the, you know what I mean. You have yeah. proficiency in a lot of the movements. You have some goals. You're dialing your diet, and that takes it, it doesn't happen overnight. And that's why, like I'm talking to you right now, is because you put it, you put the pieces together. You stayed long enough to put out. You're doing mobility. You stay yeah. after do mobility. You stretch. You're eating right. So all that it's like people will come in and they they put the they do the working out and then it takes a little time to put the other. Pieces, the, like yeah, nutrition, the, the stretching, and also then set some goals. I mean, he did the opens this year. Yeah. I mean, we haven't even fun. gotten to that. So, boom, you're you're westbound. You signed up, so you got you started killing it over there. Be more consistent. Did you go from three workouts to four? Or how? Yeah. So at the time, uh, I, I just I eased back into it. Uh, oh, he said ease, so you didn't yeah. just go like no, I like, didn't no, no smart smart. Yeah, I eased back <laughs> into it, and uh-huh. I, I really didn't have any goals. I knew that I missed CrossFit. So just going in and doing. Yeah, the, yeah I'm getting it done. Yeah, but I was I really wasn't taking care of my nutrition. I didn't really have any weight loss goals yeah. because I was I was comfortable at what the weight that I that I that yeah. I was. I wasn't super heavy, but I wasn't um, where I am now. Yeah. But um, I just I knew that I missed CrossFit, yeah. and you know, I did it for a few months. We transitioned here, and then just after that, it's uh, life. You know, life mm-hmm. happened, and uh, where it all started to change for me uh, was at the end of a three and a half year relationship, and um, it was it was hard. Mm-hmm. So, but you didn't stop coming in. You no, you, you kept no, coming to the gym. No, not at all. You came in, that was your foundation. That's what like. I always talk to people, I go, I, walk, I haven't seen for, they go, hey, yeah, stuff happened, I go, I go, that's the whole point of the gym, like, yeah. like stuff gets hard, and so, you come in the gym, work out, and stay on your routine. Yeah, some people, some people get caught up in, in, in what it is that they're going through, yeah. and for me, the gym, uh, Midtown, Westbound, has been We can call it now, home. we can call it now, training hall. Training I mean, hall. You, you, gave, you gave birth, Training. you know what I mean? Like, yeah. you're OG now. Yeah. Training hall, CrossFit. So that's what was born out of that, too. So. Yeah, so it's always, this has always been my second home, a sanctuary. Kind of a place to get away from from my outside troubles, my outside stresses. And, you know, after that, after I ended that relationship, I was in here every single but you day, set some, five days you, a week. you set some new goals. You definitely changed your eating. Mm-hmm, definitely. And then you set some goals. Uh out there in the gym so the goals yeah the, I started uh, I started meal prepping mm-hmm. which made a huge 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 impact in, in, in my success uh, that's like they say you cannot outwork a bad diet uh, no matter how many you times try it, but <laughs> you cannot work <laughs> a bad a bad diet so that made a huge difference uh-huh. and, and not so only did my, you come to the realization like man you know what I, I it's not possible I mean you know what I mean you're gonna Basically, just 
kill yourself working out and just drag not see any difference yeah um, but when did you get to a point where like hmm maybe I could give this meal prep a try uh, uh, what, what was that point that tipping point where like man you know what I just need to like yeah like when do you get to that point like I, I, I started I realized that with my job it's hard to eat at the times that I need to eat. I've always known that uh, you need to eat constantly to keep your metabolism going. Um, and I just didn't have that with my, with my... It's not that I didn't have it. It's just... I, we. It's easy for us, especially if you have a busy lifestyle, to say, okay, I have so much work that I need to do. Yeah. Um, I'd rather finish what I'm doing than take the time, 10 minutes, to eat your meal when you're supposed to. Yeah. Um, but... I, I've always known that and um, I just didn't really have make the time to, to prepare those meals right, so you made a decision so to I made a commit decision. time to like prepping and right like, okay right so I made that decision to to made a decision boom as soon as you make a try, decision yeah to try it and prep that's my huge meals. dude because like even myself I can still like push myself back and forth like okay now I'm in okay I'm gonna do it Right. And then once you're like, okay, I made a decision, I'm going to just do it, it doesn't matter. Yeah, and some people try it, and they'll try it for a week or two, and then they kind of just fall off. But consistency is key, man. Mm-hmm. Consistency is key with everything that you do, whether it's lifting, um, any any personal development, uh, especially with food and nutrition, consistency is key. So definitely that meal prepping has helped a lot, and mm-hmm. I, mean, I can't, I can't you know, stress that enough. So... Yeah, but everybody out there, prep your meals. Very important. So. Also, goal setting. Goal setting. What it, What were your top goals that you uh, accomplished this year? So, this year, I set, uh, the beginning of this year, I set a goal to, um, I pretty much started my weight loss journey at 283 pounds. Mm-hmm. I'm currently at 250. So, it's been a good 33 pounds of, of loss. So my biggest goal as far as, as weight loss um, this year is to be at 230 pounds, a 230 pound body weight. Uh, and I have, at the rate I'm going, it's, it's gonna get there, I'm gonna get there. So uh, that's one goal. Uh, I have a lot of uh, personal goals outside of the gym too. Um, you know, I wanna, I want to continue my education and that's one of the things that I've been working on um, and I've fallen in love with fitness and nutrition and sport everything that has to do with with weight training um, so, so you've I, been transformed you see the power in it You're yeah like, oh man I yeah. feel like if I can do this I know that I, I can, can help, help someone yeah. out yeah, yeah that's exactly. that's the exactly. whole thing uh, fitness when we find something we're passionate about it's like you want to share it man with dude like this is so powerful dude like being able to learn how to eat once we learn how to eat and change our bodies, that's like that's super powerful too. Cause I, I man, I grew up a, a chubby kid, like dude, all, like all the time. So like nutrition and fitness and being in fitness, um, you know, has helped me like learn how to eat. Man, I did not know how to eat for a long time. Yeah, you know? yeah. But just knowing like the difference between proteins, carbs, fats, and the right portion sizes, like totally changed the way you know I even see food now. Like uh, what a portion is. Um, you know how to, now I know how I can manipulate my carbs to throw in some, some you know yeah. some snack foods and stuff yeah. like that. So I manage my my food better. But even growing, you know, I grew up a kid in the eighties when the microwaves first came out, oh. and it was just like boom. It was, it was Everything like, was microwave, dude. It was like just crushing microwave food. Um, yeah. But you know, definitely like, but also just being able to manipulate your food so that your body changes, man. It definitely makes a huge difference in energy levels and performance levels. So being able to like do that on a regular basis is like it's pretty it's pretty it's pretty powerful stuff man yeah. so definitely uh, built my confidence built my self esteem and then it's like man I could you know I could share this with someone else yeah. who can uh, enjoy this uh, journey or yeah, you know, this lifestyle pa- yeah when you're passionate about something it's easy for you to to transmit that that energy onto somebody else mm-hmm. and if they feel it they're gonna be inspired and they're gonna they're gonna listen to what you're gonna to what you're saying. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I think I think as as passionate people, when we find something that we love, uh, we want to share it with the world, and that's what I'm currently working on. Is I want to uh, go back to school, 
going to Sac State and uh, working on my bachelor's for kinesiology. So that's I wanna, that's one of the goals. I want to bring up this, time. like your body count, like so you went from two eighty three to now two fifty, but you've changed your body composition. Changed, you know what I mean? So you right. have muscle, so it's not. You know what I mean? So, right, right. So it, it's it's a. Uh, I mean, it's a constant struggle on a day-to-day basis as far as, like, trying to keep, because uh, when I was in here, I was I was so focused on building strength yeah. that my conditioning was just crap. Mm-hmm. So, I guess you just have to find a balance between your strength, uh, maintaining your muscle, and, you know, gaining that conditioning mm-hmm. and burning that fat. Yeah. So, that's, that's a tough one right there. It's going to come through Body meal prep, meal prep, prepping that food, making sure that you're getting the right food, the right proportions on a consistent basis. So right here, I'll talk about CrossFit Opens, first time doing it. Had a great experience. Oh, man, I had so much fun, and I learned so much about myself that uh, during the, the 2016, 2017? You did it this year? Yeah. This year? Yeah, they, yeah 2017 Open. Yeah. Yeah. It seems like 16. Yeah, it, it's, because it's, it's, that work from last year showed up in 17. Does that make sense? Yeah. 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 So yes. I can understand like all the hard work doing in 16, and we're getting ready for the 17. So yeah. So 17.1. It was that. It was that. It seems like that. Long ago. Yeah. Yeah. It, it was, was just here. <laughs> I'm already ready for like I'm already ready for for 2018 Open. But yeah, so first time. Let I, us know about the experience. First time I did the open, um, I was really nervous going into it. I wanted to do it last year, but I just felt like I wasn't good enough. Like my conditioning just wasn't there, and and the movements, I just wasn't a hundred percent confident in, in the movements that were uh, in the open. So uh, this year going into it, I still felt like I wasn't ready. Yeah. But you know what? I said, you know what? If if it's not, you just you're just going to have to try it out and, and see, you know, it's a, it's a learning. The most important thing is it's a learning experience. It shows you what your weaknesses are, mm-hmm. what you're good at, what you're not good at, yeah. and what you need to work. And it kind of gives you a roadmap for that year, for the next year. So mm-hmm. this year I learned that I'm horrible at any type of, of kipping, at any type of pull-up movements, mm-hmm. toes to bars and stuff like that. Uh, gymnastics, I'm a heavy dude, so for me, gymnastics is is almost out of the question, you know. But uh, so that's gonna help you, just like okay, more meal prep, more dial in, and because right. obviously I know for me when I do more body weight stuff, I'm better at a lighter body weight. Right. So. So yeah, I mean, it, it, it gives you it gives you kind of a roadmap for to to what you need to work on, what your weaknesses are, um, but mainly just the, just the fun that that it is. I remember 17.1, a lot of people, and this goes back again to the fittest fat guy thing, mm-hmm. a lot of people didn't finish that workout under that 20 minute time cap, and uh, I, the last 15, 20 seconds were just like, okay, you gotta dig deep, deeper than you've ever dug <laughs> before, and, and I was damn bailing it, man, it was sweat when and drool was just coming out, but I finished those last, those last few box, uh, burpee box jumps overs, and uh, with a, I think I had nine seconds to spare, so 1951 uh, was uh, was my my official time for that workout. Nice. And a lot of people, a lot of people that eat, that are that do not weigh as much as I do, did not even finish yeah. that workout. So, I mean, and that's how, that you face the fear. You're like, I don't care what movements are out there. I'm just gonna commit to them and do the best that I can. Yeah, and, and that's like. Cause that would that a lot of that holds that holds a lot of people back in the open. Like they'll go, well, I don't know, I'm not good at this and that. And you're like, you know what? I'm gonna go with what I got, do the best I can. And then you got, and you know, you did awesome. And then also you got out of it uh, a game plan going into the next uh, season of, of yeah. CrossFit. And the, and the I think the most important thing that you have said is 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 the do your, the best that you can. Mm-hmm. Uh, because yeah, a lot of a lot of us say, oh, I'm not I'm not really good at that. But there's no better time than to PR or to learn a new movement than during the open because it just fires you up, man. Mm-hmm. It fires you up and it just sets you know sets a, a better move for the rest of the open. I know during 17.2 I kind of got a little, uh, I kind of 
my confidence I suffered a little bit because of the amount of gymnastic work that was in that uh-huh. uh, that that workout. But it, I came back seventeen point three, and you know I, I I did it as prescribed, and four out of the five open workouts I did as prescribed. Uh-huh. I only had a scale of one, and that was because of the amount of gymnastic work that was in there. But you did it, yeah, man. I did it. Heck I did yeah. And I had so much fun. And uh, the people, the people, and very important too, the support, the dude. energy that is here during the open. Oh my God. It it's crazy, dude. Even, yeah. <laughs> push that much harder during the workout. Yeah. The teamwork, the energy. I know I, 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 know I couldn't have, probably could not have uh, finished 17.1 without the, the energy. That if I'd have done push, it by myself, man. yeah. It's the, it pushes you that X to that, to that next level. Yeah. So, so any any words of wisdom people getting started on their on their fitness journey? I mean, you've conquered a bunch of fears and you're, you're setting more goals, and like you said, you're like you're doing stuff really good in the gym, and that helps propel you to do really good things. You set goals for your outside gym life too. Yeah. So any you know any tips right now to give away? Uh, not give away because people gotta utilize them first. So anything that people can use to help them uh, better their lives. Uh, yeah, I mean, consistency. Um, keep that always in your mind, especially for people who are, are barely uh, getting in, into it or have made the decision to lose weight. And it's easy for them to get discouraged after a few workouts. Um, and they just know that it's not always going to be like that. You know, your body gets stronger, and with time, that, that, uh, a lot of people get discouraged because, oh, I'm sore, or my muscles hurt, and this mm-hmm. and that, I don't like this. It's not always going to be like that. It's not always yeah. going to be like that. And eventually, you're going to actually learn to love that love that feeling, that, hard, that feeling of hard soreness. Work. Yeah, that's, yeah that's, it means you put in a good effort. Yeah, yeah. So there's bad soreness and there's good soreness. Just let me get this right. He's talking about the good soreness. The you good get soreness. Pushing yourself. That's just for moving. Your body's going to go. We're going to tax our body because we want to climb the higher levels uh, mentally. And mentally and physically, you know, we want to overcome a lot of obstacles. Most of the barriers that we have, we hold within ourselves so we can go out there and attack those workouts to push ourselves. It's going to make us stronger both in the gym and the outside the gym. But one thing that we're going to really get and maintain throughout our life is is our mindset, our mindset to, to keep pushing forward. Um, like Martin said, we're going to get sore. It's, we're going to be tired. There's days we're not going to feel like working out. But our, if we have our goals and they're in alignment, we know why we're coming in every day because we have goals on paper. They're in front of us. Um, uh, we have a group of people that are going to hold us accountable because if you don't show up, dude, we got people like, what's up, dude? Hey, what happened? Been? Where were you yesterday? Exactly, because everybody who shows up uh, who works hard, that whole group gets the effect of a synergy effect. So one person's missing. There's three people, two people, five people. There's 15 people working out hard. We're going to get a way better workout, you know. So everyone that comes in is going to definitely add to the workout. So we're I'm like making sure everyone comes in because that's just how we're going to grow together, but also how people are going to elevate themselves to uh, improve themselves. So, yeah. Um, for anybody who's trying to lose weight, I would definitely recommend trying CrossFit just because of the simple fact that the community and the support is there, and I think that's very very important, especially when you when you're first starting out. And you don't have that support. Come into the Try and CrossFit gym, and, and um, that's definitely where you're most likely to find that support and meet new people that are going to encourage you and motivate you on a daily basis. Awesome! There you go, Martin. Thank you very much. Thank you. Awesome work. So work hard, believe in yourself. Remember, teamwork, man. That's an integral part of changing, uh, changing old habits, changing old behaviors. Get in a group elevate you to become better um, there you go so once you become better you just pass it on help the next person so there you go go yeah. ahead anything else go ahead and go check out what fittest fat guy at Instagram. check out my Instagram at fittest fat guy uh, hit follow and that way you follow start. post like and share post like and share Heck subscribe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's that's me awesome go thank, check me out thank you Martin thanks for having me all right